Welcome to why I hate canola oil. This video is simply being done because I put up a TikTok. If you don't follow me on TikTok, go to the description below and follow me on TikTok. I put up a video pretty much saying that I hate canola oil. And I said this because I went to Costco and noticed that there's a lot of canola oil and seed oils in many of the products, including the ready to eat or barbecue, whatever meat products. I also talked about nutrition labels in that video, including the ingredients section of it, which no one really pays attention to. A lot of people sadly don't even know how to read a nutrition label. So this is how this video became a thing. The amount of people in my comment section asking me, well, what's wrong with canola oil? My doctor said it was healthy. <sighs> Before I go on, please like and subscribe and turn on the notifications bell to my videos. That would be greatly appreciated. Now let's move on. So one of the reasons why I cannot stand canola oil is the fact that 90% of the canola oil is genetically modified. GMO, as we see these stickers on a bunch of things. It's a genetically modified product. The second big reason why I can't stand canola oil, besides the disgusting taste of chemical, is because it's extracted with a chemical. It's chemically extracted using a solvent. It's heated at such a high rate that it can affect the stability of the oil. It can turn it rancid just by the process of extracting the canola oil. And in doing this, it destroys the omega-3s. And due to the high high heat point of extracting the canola oil. Unfortunately, this can also mean that there is a possibility that this can create trans fats. Now, I get it, for a lot of people, you buy canola oil because it's on sale or it's just cheaper, but as they say, you get what you pay for. So, now that I've on canola oil a little bit, I wanna give you different kinds of oils that you can use if you're cooking. Now again, Stay away from anything like canola oil because it also has a low burning point, which means if you're using it to cook something in the pan, well, the heat from that pan is going to kill everything in that oil and it's not healthy for you. So you want an oil or fat that has a high burning temperature so that you pretty much don't turn your oil rancid and it has nutrients in it instead of something that is just disgusting. So I'm a big fan of animal fats, so if it's... A lot of the meats I get are grass-fed. So with a grass-fed animal, I'm not worried about the cow or the animal eating a bunch of corn. And we also know corn is highly genetically modified as well. So if you're eating a lot of grass-fed meats or you're, you're buying, say, butter, make sure it's from grass-fed because then you're avoiding any antibiotics, hormones, that kind of stuff. And it's from a grass-fed animal. Now, if you're someone that maybe doesn't like butter or you're cooking something that you don't want to use butter with, try finding an olive oil with a high polythenon count. And the high polythenon count, it'll taste more of like a, like a peppery oil, but it also has a higher burn rate when you're cooking, which is a good thing. Another good oil that you could use is coconut oil. Coconut oil is great. It has a high burn rate. You can use coconut oil for so many different things. One thing I want to mention with canola oil is that if it doesn't say uh, extra virgin or uh, cold pressed, it's refined. Now when this happens, when you're buying a refined canola oil, it's high in omega-3 fatty acids, which you think is a good thing. But the problem is, is that when you start cooking with this refined canola oil, something with high temperature and then oxygen hits it, it has this disgusting smell, which is one of the reasons why I hate canola oil. Now, because they know that this happens where it has this really foul smell, they put it through a deodor deodorization process, and with that, it removes a large portion of the omega-3s. And then the unfortunate part is it turns them into trans fatty acids. That's not good. So you don't always need oil. Some people think you need oil all the time when cooking food. You don't always need oil. Now, this being said, when you're going to the grocery store, just like in my TikTok video I was talking about with the nutrition label, you want to look at the nutrition label and look on the bottom where the ingredients are. A lot of boxed food and even the fresh food that you need to barbecue or put in the oven where it has, um, looks like they've kind of pre-made it for you and you just got to stick it in there and cook it. A lot of these items have a lot of different seed oils and a lot of them are canola oil. And there's a lot of really tricky, tricky marketing going on out there. One of which I saw the other day, sometimes I'll just pick up stuff and read whatever. So there was this... I won't name the brand because I'll probably get poop uh, for this one. 
but it was a mayonnaise. And on the mayonnaise, it said made with olive oil. I'm like, oh, I pick it up. The first ingredient was canola oil. So the label looks like there's no canola, canola oil in it. And it's made with olive oil. But if you don't turn that around, look, look at the ingredients. The first ingredient was canola. Canola. Yo, you told me it was with olive oil. But a lot of people won't read these things and they think it's a better option for them. They cut the amount of canola with a bit of olive oil. So yeah, it is made with some olive oil, but they still have a lot of the other junk in it like canola. So when you are shopping for stuff, again, look at the nutrition label, look at the ingredients, know what you're buying because more often than not, you are implanting so much seed, rancid, rancid seed oil in your system. Then you need to look out for stuff like autoimmune conditions, inflammation, um, fat buildup in your liver. There's so many of these health conditions and health concerns that aren't being talked about and are due to inflammatory issues with seed oils. So if there is any takeaway from this video that I really want you guys to do, it's to pay attention to what you're buying and what you're eating and really be mindful and start eliminating a lot of the rancid oils from your diet and start replacing them with the good ones. Like I said, animal fats, grass fed, a uh, high polyphenol count, olive oil or coconut oil. Start replacing them with that and use fats to cook if you need to. You don't always have to. And this also doesn't mean that fat is bad. Fat is amazing. I eat a substantial amount of fat because you need fat. Your brain needs it. Your tissue needs it. Your hormones need it. So if you're also someone that's using canola oil because it says low in fat or whatever because you're worried about weight gain, that's incorrect. And if you have, if you're someone who's struggling with health, mind, body, soul, please look at my pivot program. I linked it in the bottom. Take a peek at that. It's a four week online program. You do it all at your own pace. All the video modules are online. You get your own login, your own password. You do it at your own pace. Every week is unlocked week after week. And I teach everything from your mindset, where I help you dig, to a week just on nutrition, a week on movement, and then a uh, fourth week where we consolidate everything. And you're also in a private Facebook group. So if you do have questions, you can go in there. You'll get me or one of the people that are in the program and we can answer and help one another out there. So again, if you're needing help and you want that education and you want to know more, please look at my Pivot program. Hopefully this video has helped you understand why you need to pay a little bit more attention as to what you're putting in your body. And don't just think that that really nice label means that it's healthy. Please, please, please pay attention to that nutrition label. If you have questions, please write it in the comment section. I will be happy to answer it. If you're not following me on TikTok, please follow me on TikTok. I'll put everything in the link below. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, and turn that on. Turn that notification bell on. Please do. It helps my channel out a ton. And again, questions, write it below. I'll be happy to put more content out for you guys. Bye.